Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is the narco states of West Africa. And we have with us as our guest this morning, uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu, uh, who will give us some information relative to uh, the uh, narco states. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let me uh, welcome you uh, to the show this morning mm -hmm. and to uh, remind ourselves as well as our audience that uh, quite recently you were with us uh, dealing with the uh, narco states in West Africa. And you gave us a lot of revealing information in reference to what is going on uh, with narcotics in on the uh, on the uh, coast of West Africa and we decided that we'd like to uh, have you back and to uh, have you to uh, further explain uh, some of the uh, recent developments in reference to uh, this particular section of uh, Africa and the impact that uh, narcotics is having upon uh, the area and of course, let, let, let us do that by uh, having you give us sort of a review over some of the things that we've already talked about when you were here earlier. Yeah, in, uh, in our conversation, you know, uh, last week, we, you know, talked about the problems in, mm -hmm. in, in, in Guinea-Bissau, mm -hmm. and uh, Guinea-Conakry, mm -hmm. you know, and a uh, few other African countries on the West Coast, you know, as regards the, mm -hmm. the uh, <coughs> drug problem. And as I articulated earlier, you know, the designation of Guinea-Bissau as a narco state mm -hmm. was given by the United Nations, you know, after uh, it, it found that the government in that country, you know, was deeply involved mm -hmm. itself in, in, in providing access mm -hmm. and facilities, you mm -hmm. know, for, for the drug cartels from South America mm -hmm. primarily. Mm -hmm. You know, as a transshipment point to uh, to Europe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the 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 involvement of the Guinean government mm -hmm. wasn't that much known until mm -hmm. you know early this year, after the death of President Conte. Mm -hmm. You know, when the army took over, and uh, his son and other government officials mm -hmm. came out and confessed mm -hmm. you know, that indeed the government of President Conte had been involved directly mm -hmm. in, in the transshipment of, of cocaine, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to, to Europe. Mm -hmm. and, and since then, you know, more light mm -hmm. has been thrown on the activities, you know, of this government. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, uh, after the assassination, the double assassination in Bissau, mm -hmm. involving uh, President Vieira and uh, General uh, Tagman away. Mm -hmm. People started uh, asking more questions about what is happening insofar as, you know, mm -hmm. the drug problem is concerned on the west coast of Africa. Uh, some uninformed, you know, people think that these, these, these uh, mm -hmm. drugs are grown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Grown in Africa. Uh -huh. and, uh, <coughs> <laughs> and manufactured in Africa, uh -huh. you know, which of course anybody would think so, uh -huh. the, the, the amount not of drugs, uh -huh. but it's not, it's not true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These countries on the west coast of Africa primarily serve as a transshipment point mm -hmm. to, 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 to European countries. Mm -hmm. And one would ask why, mm -hmm. you know, why these countries on the west coast of mm -hmm. Africa, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, why are they not shipping them through Jamaica? Mm -hmm. You know, why are they not shipping them through Colombia? Okay. Why are they not shipping them, you know, through some of the Central American? The old normal trade routes. Exactly, route. the, uh. the old normal routes everybody mm -hmm. knows about. Mm -hmm. Why, you know, Cayman Islands and all that. Mm -hmm. Why, off, or the coast of Florida? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why all of a sudden, you know, the west coast west of coast. Africa? Uh -huh. Yeah, there are some, 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 some reasons. A, you know, because of the increased, you know, uh, policing, you know, of, of, of some of the Central and South American countries, you know, mm -hmm. by the DEA, mm -hmm. who are familiar mm -hmm. now with all those routes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's number one reason. A second reason is that these drugs are going to Europe, mm -hmm. not to the United States. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the United Nations, you know, report early last year states that European countries now consume more cocaine than the United States. The Euro just the European countries. Yeah, exactly. It, the European countries now consume mm -hmm. more cocaine than the United States. Mm -hmm. So in order to get that cocaine to, the, to, to, to Europe quicker, mm -hmm. they had to ship those 
you know, uh, the, the, the drugs through Brazil or some mm -hmm. Latin American countries across the Atlantic Ocean direct mm -hmm. to Bissau mm -hmm. and the west coast of Africa. That's the, sec that's the second reason. Mm -hmm. The third reason is the institutional weakness mm -hmm. of these countries. And of course, Dr. Madhu, let us uh, stop for this first commercial break uh, dealing with the institutional weaknesses of uh, these countries, mm -hmm. and we'll come back and we'll allow you to uh, pick that up. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short uh, commercial break. The topic is the...